Yo viewers and subscribers who are going and coming at you again with another tutorial and this time we are going to take a small trip on over to the motherland Africa this one is Alpha Blonde Jerusalem grab your guitars let's go my people so now that we zoomed in um so i just want to say when i first heard the song there was this this one thing that got a grip on me with the song and that was you want to guess <laughs> the guitar i was so i felt a, a certain way when the, the the tone of that guitar and how clean it was you know it really grabbed me and it, 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 it caught my attention you know so I did my best with um with the tuning and of course I have nothing absolutely probably a little bit of reverb that's it the guitar is clean there's nothing what there's nothing on it <laughs> Just a clean guitar all right with a tip of reverb you know just for encouragement you know a little bit of sweetening so that was that gave the stock line a certain feel all right so again when listening to reggae don't just listen to the words and don't just listen to everything together all the instruments together listen to them individually go deep when you're listening to to, 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 um, to reggae music all right so without any further ado let's jump into this one let me show you how to play it you know there's a stock line and there are a few guitar licks which I'm not really gonna go in like too much in details with the licks because I mean when they go live, if you listen to them live, they change the licks up and everything. So it, it, that's just you adding your little flavor, your little sweetness to, to whatever. All right. But the cards and the stock line, I'll be definitely going in details with these. All right. So let's talk about the key first. First of all, it's in the key of F sharp. <laughs> This is just two cards, all right, and it's a two to a one, all right. So, like I said, when it comes to the number system, in order to know where you're going, you need to know your major scale. And I did a tutorial on that before, so if you wanna, you go ahead and check it out on the channel, all right. The number system is important. The um, basic, basic theory is important. So please, my friends, please go ahead and learn the basic theories. All right? So. So in this case, if the one is F major, the root, then of course the two is going to be that A flat minor. And I use this one because it gives it a better sound, this, you know. Of course, I could always come here and play. But then it won't, the feel would be a little bit messed up. I want to keep it down there groovy, you know, low and sweet. So. Alright, so to find this card, you want to buy the whole second fret. You want to place the middle finger on the third string, third fret. Place the pinky finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. 
the ring finger goes above on the fifth string so that's the one all right to get the two you want to bar the whole fourth fret and you want to place that ring finger on the fourth the fifth string of the sixth fret place a pinky finger on the fourth string fifth fret so bar the whole fourth fret ring finger pinky finger all right so those are the two cards you use all right now the strum it needs to be a Now, if you realize that the right hand and the left hand is in sync, we're moving together. So, in order to get it to to get that staccato feel, you need to apply the pressure and release almost instantly. So, when it goes, so apply pressure, release. So make sure the hand is going to the rhythm, the beat. Yeah, man. All right. And to get it to, for like stability, to make sure, to make certain that it's staccato and it's, you can also strike and come, make sure the hand rests down there after you finish. See there? So it's palm mute in there. And of course, you can apply this to every reggae sound. Alright, so now we got the strumming down, we got the cards down. Let's move on over to the stock line. Alright? A stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. And in this song, it's no exception, this song, the stock line plays exactly what the bass line plays. So if you play the stock line, then you can play the bass line. Alright, so, go something like this. Okay. So here we go again. Slower. Now, I am not going to call out the notes. I am going to play it slow. You guys can watch, listen, and follow. So here we go. Now, for the feel, you need to mute the strings with the palm, right? It goes like this. My bad. Again. Alright, and remember to alternate the picking. It makes it much easier.
Right, and realize how I hold the pick. It's not just flat like that. I turn it a little bit. This way it gets to rub on the string, it slides easier. It slides easier. Instead of okay, so yeah, that's it for the stock line. No, let's talk about that little riff that comes every now and then in the song. That song, that, that, that riff that gives the song a certain feel, a certain sound, a certain everything. That, that riff that everybody is in love with, that riff that everybody wants to play. Alright? And it comes every now and then. And it's a simple slide up and down and that's it. Alright? So you, you'll be playing... And that's it right there. That is that one thing that caught me. You know? So now, to play that, you want to bar, you want to place a pointer finger on the third string of the sixth fret. Place the ring finger on the second string of the seventh fret. Alright? And, you want to slide up. When you slide up, the pointer finger should be on the third string 8th fret, ring finger, 2nd string 9th fret. Alright? There it is. There it is. Cool. And back. And that's it for that part. That's it. So you play. And that is what I like about this song. It gives you space, it gives you time to breathe, it gives you time to drop your licks. Which takes me to the next part. So every now and then you have some licks in it. So I mean, this the guitar in this song stands out. You know, it pronounced a lot. So, like I said, this song gives you space to breathe. You know what I mean? It gives you space and time to drop your licks. You know, so... Some stuff like that. Some stuff like that. Alright? So, here's an example of what that sounds like. And that is how you play Jerusalem by Mr. Alpha Blande. Remember to subscribe to the channel. My name is Zion. Blessed love, peace out. I'll see you next time.